So today I'm going to be explaining to you the way a low-cut filter works. Uh, a low-cut filter is something that a lot of users I've seen online really have questions about, and I figured I'd do a quick tutorial about it. Um, pretty much the idea of the low-cut filter is to get, to get frequencies out of the way, uh, especially when you're dealing with instruments that don't really need a lot of those. Uh, one of the common instruments that you find people throw a low-cut filter on are the lead vocals, um, as I did in this track right here. Uh, you'll find that I ended up putting a low-cut filter all the way up to about 50, 56 hertz. Uh, that's cutting cutting it out uh, basically right there. Now, if I were to remove that entirely, I'm going to just solo out this one track and see what is, uh, what's there. Two strangers dance in the middle of the night. All right. Well, as you can see, there are a lot of frequencies that are down here that are going to be conflicting with the uh, bass, with the kick drum in the song, and we really don't want that. So as I play that again, we're going to take a look at it uh, and take a look right there. I want you to see these frequencies right here and what uh, and, and what's going to happen to them when I kick in the low the low cut filter. Two strangers dance in the middle of the night. You see how when I turned it on and then I turned it off that the all of these frequencies down here like significantly dropped and then when I threw it back on it went back up. Those are frequencies in the vocals that honestly you're never going to really notice. It's not something that's normally part of a good, uh, a good mix when it comes to vocals, uh, acoustic guitars that have a lot of other instruments and a lot of in a lot of different pieces so it's really important that you m keep each frequency open and available for whatever instrument really needs to fill fit there if you had a session with 27 different tracks all of them with even let's say a little a, a small amount of unnecessary information down here after all those tracks it's going to add up and it's going to mess with the low end of your track so you're best off you put your best off doing strangers the dance in the middle of the night. You're best off cutting them all out just like I just did. Uh, if you have any questions about how or when to use a low cut filter, uh, please feel free to shoot me a little message right here on the channel or and visit me on uh, thelittleredlight.com. Have fun recording, everybody.